What's going on guys? Um, today we're going to take a look at a wireless charger that doubles as a power bank. Um, <clears throat> super cool. Uh, the only company that I've ever seen to actually do one of those has been Mophie. And don't get me wrong, Mophie is hands down the best. What's up guys? So, the sound's still there. I know. Um, I was hoping to have it fixed by this video. I don't, but next video it will be fixed, I promise. I, I have it down, it's gonna be taken care of. So, unfortunately you'll have to deal with it one more time. And after that, never again, at least let's hope. But uh, next time should be perfect. So, enjoy the video. Everybody has some sort of a power bank, especially, I mean, if you're just in the tech in general, you've got one for travel, for work. Um, if you're creative, you've probably got one in your bag all the time because you're always on the go. These are Mophie's. These are expensive. I love these. Straight up, I love these. <clears throat> but with new technology, new phones, your iPhone 10, um, the 8s, all your new galaxies, um, Pixel, most of the new LGs even have wireless charging. Um, so that's a big thing right now. Wireless charging. Wireless charging is definitely not as fast as plugging one in to a wall socket or even plugging one into one of these. But what we're going to look at today is essentially one of these that charges your phone. It's by a company called Lightchers. Well, light cheers. I don't know, but I um, just kind of stumbled upon this on Amazon and I was like, that's pretty cool and it's not expensive. So I figured I'd pull the trigger on it. Worst case scenario, I hate it. I can return it. It's Amazon. So it's whatever. So this is the box that the lighter's battery comes in. This is 8,000 milliamps. Uh, comes with some paperwork and then USB to micro USB to charge. So get rid of that. So here is your battery. It's about five and a half inches. It's pretty sleek. The biggest drawback to me, honestly, is that it's so nice looking, but it will just pick up all of your fingerprints. So there's a couple of cool things with it. To note over here, we've got USB 1, USB 2. It will charge two USB devices at once. Charging it is with the micro USB right there in the center. Now, despite this being 8,000 milliamps, it takes a long time to charge this thing. Um, a lot longer than it should, if I'm being honest. Um, it takes like five to six hours to charge this. That's, I'm fine with that. Um, I do wish it would charge a little bit quicker, but I mean, if I'm home, I'm going to plug it in and forget about it, charge it, and then take it with me when I go somewhere. Uh, another cool thing about this is, right here's the power button on the side. Boom. Right there. We're at 63% left on this. I think this is awesome. This is way better than taking a Mophie, and I'm on the wrong side here hitting the button and being like, oh, that could be 75% or 60%. That could be 80% or 100%. I'm not sure which, but I've got a roundabout idea. So 63%, and again, it times out pretty quick. So right there, we're charging. Um, I think it's great. Again, this will charge both USB ports and it will charge a wireless device at once. That will probably blow right through the battery. But that's okay. Because we're just here for convenience, right? So this is the um, Mophie Power Station Plus. And this retails for $80. This has micro input to charge, USB output to charge, and over here it's got the convenience of having a built-in lightning cable which pops off and doubles as a micro USB. This was the first movie I bought. This is the one that I keep in my bag at all times. 
This Mophie is 6,000 milliamps. So, and this one is, again, eight. Now, over here, we've got the Power Station XL. Considerably thicker, considerably heavier than the Plus. Only retails for $70. Because I believe the other is just for the simple fact that it's got the, the cable built into it. It makes it a little bit more expensive. We've got two at once. I have used this many times to charge my iPad and my phone simultaneously. It does a great job. It charges quick. Battery seems to last almost forever. Again, this is 10,000 milliamps. While this one right here is 8,000, the Power Station Plus over here, 6,000. Now, some I being in the business, I've seen some off-brand or generic wireless chargers not charged through like otter boxes and things like that. This one will do it. While I don't own an otter box, because I'm not a big fan, I do own a nice protective element recon case. It's very thick. So we'll pop the iPhone in here, make sure this is turned on, and it's charging. So again, this Lichers retails for 30 bucks on Amazon, $30, $80, $70. Mophie makes a 10,000 milliamp charging bank that doubles as a wireless charger. It retails for $99. At the time, I was like, man, that's really cool. I kind of want that. And then I saw this. Again, this is awesome. It has one other feature, which I think it took me a while to figure out what it was. But this slides out. So you can watch videos. Obviously, you can't wireless charge, but you can charge with the cable and watch videos on your phone. This thing is been in my bag that I take with me every day for about the past week and a half. It has replaced the Power Station Plus, which has been by far my favorite charger that I've ever had. So again, the Lichers wireless charging bank. I love it. Um, I definitely recommend picking one up if it's something that you would be into or something that you would need um, just sheerly based on its convenience and its pretty damn sleek um, 30 bucks I'll link it on Amazon again the equivalent from Mophie for this is a hundred dollars and it's called the force charge I think um, I'll link it as well if you want to really drop some money and want to go all out go for it if you buy it let me know how awesome it is because I'm sure it's cool but when you're on a budget you do what you got to do never heard of lighters hope they make some new stuff because again it's rad and i dig it so uh they've got my approval and if you like it you pick one up let me know i want to know what you think about it again the biggest drawback is that it takes quite a while for it to charge up now i didn't charge it on rapid charger i only charged it on a standard five watt micro usb which may also be the problem um i could always plug in like a samsung quick charge on it and I'm sure it will charge faster but I didn't do that so if you dig it give us a thumbs up if you hate it give me a thumbs down subscribe share it'd be awesome um, and again if you pick one up let me know so see you next time